Hey, I'm back with another video for our Ira video tutorial series where we'll cover how to make different shaders and game mechanics found in Ira Act 1 Pilgrimage. In our last video we made a pixel, retro pixel shader um, for our camera that applied to everything on the screen. And someone uh, asked how they could apply it to just like a computer monitor or something, uh, something like that within the scene. So just like a single item. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So, if you look at my screen right here, you can see that I have this empty map, and then I have just a sim simple planet that I created that's used in our game, and uh, then I have this post-process volume with our pixel pixelation shader. So it's just it's, it's basically the most generic setup we had from our last video. So over here, I have the post-process volume in which we had the uh, post-process shader applied. And you can see under the setting of the post process volume, and then under, uh, let's see, under the settings here, um, I have I have it enabled, but it's not unbound. If I throw it on there, you can see that you know um, the pixel shader you know, applies to everything. But we don't want that. We want to apply to a single thing, specifically like a computer screen. So let's go ahead and go up to in our modes area, and I'm going to go under basic. I'm just going to drag a cube out. Okay. And it's pretty dark on this level right now, but you can see the outline of the cube. So let's run with that. And then I'm just going to shape it up a little bit so it's probably more like a monitor. There we go. That should be good. So basically, this is what our our screen image is going to be applied to. So how do we do that? Um, I'm going to create a scene capture 2D which if we go up here into our modes panel and search scene you'll see scene capture 2D go ahead and click on that drag it out and basically it's making a camera so oops, scene capture oh it's up here okay so we have this camera right here and I want it to look at this planet take that image apply the post process effect to it and then apply it to our box down here you know, and things are a little dark. And real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and drop in a light. So let's just do a directional light real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and press uh, E and kind of position the light so it kind of shows us what we're looking at a little bit better there. Okay. So let's set up our scene capture 2D camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that camera. And then I kind of want to pilot it where I want to go. So I could, you know, I could move it, move it across the screen like this. And I could slide it over, and then I can press E, and then rotate it around, and then press down. You know, try to get it to, to line up with the the planet. But my favorite way to do it uh, is just to hit Control Shift P when the camera's selected. And now I'm piloting it. So it says Pilot Active Scene Capture 2D. So if I were to right click on my screen, I can move that camera around, and I can use W A S N D to move it around the scene which is great. And then if I want to go up and down, I can do Q for down and E for up. So it's a very nice way and very quick way just to set up your camera and see what it's looking at, you know. So let's just take this planet, put the camera right there, and then we'll just exit the camera up here in the upper left-hand corner and just say stop piloting, just like that. Okay. So now that we have the uh, scene capture in place, I want to go ahead and create some type of render texture so it's going to take what this camera sees and it's going to apply it to this monitor right here so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to come down here and we're going to right click and under materials and textures go ahead and select render target so we have the render target we'll go ahead and call it uh, monitor I can spell monitor image Okay, so we have that created. Now we basically need to go to our camera here with that with that render uh, render to texture created. And we want to apply it to that camera. So it says texture target, and we're going to go ahead and apply what we have selected here. So just go to this little side arrow. It says use selected asset from content browser. Click on it, and as you can see, it it becomes what the camera sees. 
and oop, it updates over here as well. So you can see the monitor image. And if I were to move this up, you know, um, or down, you, it should update. Yeah, see, it updates there, and you can tell that it's it's working. Basically, whatever the camera sees, it's applying uh, to this this monitor image uh, texture here. So, with that selected, with camera selected. Um, make sure we have our post process applied to it. So if you remember from the first video, you know, we clicked on this post process volume and then we went to the settings and then we went down and we went to blendables and we set that element, um, which is the pixel shader, um, whatever you guys end up naming it. So I want to do the same thing to the camera here. So I just want to click on the camera and I want to basically go to post process volume, click on it so it drops down go to blendables and then add that pixel test uh, material instance that we created um, so let's just go to choose asset reference you can see I have my reference selected you can click on it you know or you can just click this little tab right here and you can navigate to it but you can see we have pixel test um, at least in my case it's named pixel test selected okay so that means that this camera uh, the scene capture 2d now has the post process applied to it, but it's not going to show it yet. So you have to go down to scene capture and then under the texture target, capture source, you have to specifically tell it to do the final color LDR with post processing. If you don't, it's not going to take it with it. So it will not be doing the post process. So make sure this is selected. So you have it applied and you make sure you have this selected down here and then it'll send the post process image through. Um, to whatever you have applied to. Now you could go ahead and try to apply this monitor image render target directly to this and I think it would auto generate a material for you in here but let's just create it ourselves real quick. So I'm going to right click the monitor image I'm going to go create material and it's just going to make a material instance of that. I'm just going to accept the monitor image underscore mat so that's fine. And then I'm going to take this material instance we created drag it and drop it bam right onto this. Okay we're right into that uh, faux monitor we created and you can see that it's uh, it's clearly there and it is working so you can see it's even moving just like the planet is it's rotating and it's pixelated um, and just like in our previous video we can open up our pixel test slide it kind of over here oops, oops slide over here to the side and then we can control the pixelation amount so let's make it really low how about that yeah so you can see it's really low Okay, you know, this looks kind of dark right now. Um, and most computer monitors are, you know, producing their own light. They have, a, they have a back, they're backlit, so you'd be able to see kind of a glow about it. So under the material monitor, uh, sorry, the monitor image material, go ahead and open that up. Mine's another screen. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag these both up here so we can get a good look at them. So this is the monitor image material. And really simply, you can just take, um, this texture sample right here, instead of just going to the base color, which is just default, throw it in emissive as well. And that's going to mean it, it's basically going to be uh, emitting light from itself. So go ahead and save that. Go ahead, go back to our, um, our, our main editor window here. And now you can see that it's a lot brighter. So that's good. Um, and now it's kind of emitting its own light. So I could totally just remove this light source right here. You know, I'm just gonna just gonna delete it. And you can see that it's a it's self-illuminating. So it is basically glowing just like a computer monitor would, um, with that nice little pixel effect on it. So there you have it. So we have the uh, the basic monitor right here. We have the object that we want to show up on the monitor. We have the camera that captures that image, the scene capture 2D, and then we have the material that it's capturing to, and then we have the material instance applied to our, our monitor. And there you go. That's a simple way to, uh, to create a computer monitor that's pixelated. This is uh, the end of our second video, so if you guys have any um, questions or comments, or um, if there's something we can improve upon, or if you have any requests, uh, just go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I will go ahead and help you guys out the best I can. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Have a good one.